our ward mission leader was Aboriginal, and he um, gave us a meal, and um, it was like a mystery meat. Anyway, so I was eating it, and uh, I was like, and he was like having us guess what it was. Anyways, uh, he uh, we ate sea turtle, and um, I was like, what was that spongy bit I ate? And he was like, oh, that was the lung. <laughs> so, I guess I can say I had a sea turtle lung. I got separated from my trainer. He got off the train. I didn't. I think I was like trying to get off the. I I can't remember what happened. I think there was some confusion on what stop uh, we need to get off of. But uh, uh, and I can't remember how we resolved it. But uh, that was kind of frightening. I think maybe the other crazy experiences. I like went up to someone's house and uh, literally started just yelling and, and cursing at me and stuff like that. And I think it was just having a bad day. I remember riding my bike home, like trying to get home for curfew, and I was just singing, We Thank Thee, O God, for a Prophet. And um, it, it, it just, I, I was just, the, the pumping of the legs and the, you know, the adrenaline and the excitement of like, I think we had came back from a, a teaching appointment that went really well or really terrible. I can't remember. I think I was having like a really good day or a super bad day. At any rate, um, I was singing uh, as loud as I could as I'm weaving through the streets um, and uh, just, just felt the Spirit just impact me. In my experience, uh, God has uh, confirmed things to me after the fact. Um, I think he's helped me make decisions. When I left on my mission, my question was, should I? The answer is obviously yes, the prophets guide us to, uh, to do that. But the follow-up question that came after that is not, should you, or would you, or could you, but um, will you? And I realized it was totally up to me. Uh, the, the success of my mission. And I feel as if God has confirmed th things to me after the fact, um, where it's in the moment of doing the thing that God says, this is right, this is good, I am pleased. And, um, and I had that moment, going home and singing, uh, uh, praising God, um, very feeling his his pleasure his um agreement his uh, uh liking of of what i was doing i remember it raining so much and being windy so much that we literally had our umbrellas directly in front of us to stop the rain from blowing into us and um, I'm pretty sure my companion's umbrella blew inside out and uh, I got home that day and uh, my toes were brown uh, because of the uh, uh, my feet were so wet that the um, shoe polish had seeped through the leather through the sock and through the skin to stain my feet um, I would say the, oh, okay, so that's on one end, right? It's it's a wet, dry season, right? The dry season, I remember being, like, sitting in my apartment, like, studying, and, no, we came home for lunch, that's right, we came home for lunch, and I remember just, like, sitting there with my, my elbows on my, on my knees, and, like, just like breathing in and like looking down and like sweat was dripping off my nose and I was like you have got to be kidding me but it was so satisfying as much as it was hard it was like okay this is this is something this is like one of those moments where it's like difficult but it'll be fun to talk about later <laughs> what kind of skill did I learn talking to people um, I saw them do a I think the word is hungy, and I think I'm, I'm pronouncing it right. They dig a pit, they put stones down there, they light a fire in the stones, they scoop out the coals, and then they put a big piece of meat wrapped in banana leaves, um, and then they bury it and leave it there for like 14 hours or something like that. Um, so that was neat to see and be a part of. 
I knew how to wash dishes before, but I, ne I, I don't think I ever had a dishwasher in, in my apartment. So I learned how to, one thing, one thing that I did is I would um, only have one plate, one bowl, one spoon, one fork. Because I think the mistake that most people make is they like dirty a plate and then they dirty another plate, another plate, and then they end up having a sink full of dishes. And I would kind of work with my companion where I would say, okay, like let's just, since we have to hand wash them anyways, let's just eat, hand wash it right after. And, you know, so maybe, maybe minimalism. I think, I think missionaries have to live like monks a lot of times, right? And um, I really appreciated the like pared down lifestyle. Um, of like wearing the same thing every day and uh, you know focusing more on life rather than um, focusing on uh, material objects or ac acquiring materiality consumerism materialism right these things um, I really got to experience life on a very so I learned that skill minimalism